When you have your own house, peeing with the door open is normal. are honestly slept on what does that mean uh, I don't burn through controllers that much I don't know how I didn't get p-speed in the first level but I salvaged it I mean it worked that is a lot of value Dude, the overworld themes are on point, man. They're so tasty. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. World seven overworld is is way more jazzy. It's like a jazzy theme. World 3 Overworld is more of like a Latin-y kind of jazz. A little more Latin to it. But... Yo, World 7 casually is hard, man. If you're not very familiar with this game and you, like, pick it up on, like, the NES Mini or something, this game will kick your ass. Can you make the extended one up the next time the run is dead? I can try. You just made the sound. I did it, guys. Oh my gosh. My life. The clench. I did it. I finally did it. Oh yes, dude. Choices. Yo, what up Cisco Kid? Dude, what's going on with Twitch? Like a billion people. It was like two days ago, Cisco Kid. Didn't you just re up? I swear to God. Get together, Twitch. Alright. 4 5 P speed would be insane. That would be really good. I mean, I didn't get P speed in level 1, but I also didn't turn back, so. Turned out pretty well. So P-Speed will make up a lot. Nope. I already know I didn't get it by by my initial jump. Very particular. It's a very particular jump, but it's okay. Yo, one full year, Andy. What up, dude? Yeah. Dude, one full year is nuts, man. Thank you. Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100, bonus 30 can't really sub at the moment, but I still want to support you. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. It's all Twitch is doing. September's all Twitch, right? If they if they didn't do September, most streamers wouldn't be pushing it so much. It's 
Twitch encourages streamers to push, you know, September, so don't don't feel pressured. It's all good. You get my content regardless. You know what I mean? I have a couple commands that have my emotes in them, so you guys can use them, so it's okay. No big deal. Uh, there's no trick, Giga. You all you use you use the dot. The little dot on the right side of the block, that's where you do your big jump on the dot, and that should line you up where you need to be. But again, it's only it's a few pixels of consistency versus not consistency. So it's really hard. It's really hard to line up. Can you ROM hack on the NES Mini? What do you mean ROM hack? Like play ROM hacks on the NES Mini? Probably. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can crack it and put ROMs on it, can't you? I don't own one, so I'm not sure. Yo, Bowtie with the gift sub. Thank you. Oh, your friends would always kill you in Smash Brothers? Yeah. Dude, that's the worst. It happens, man. GameCube controllers were actually pretty easy to break, too. Sadly. I, I don't know if you're kidding around Jacob or not, but I mean, I don't think you're going to get the world record on my ROM hack. My ROM hack is very good. Custom music, custom tricks, custom boss, lots of secrets. Really fun. It's a really fun hack, but it's hard. GameCube controllers were easy to break. Well, I mean, compared to their other controllers, NES and Super Nintendo controllers are hard. N64 controllers are hard to break, but if you do throw them a specific way, it will fuck up the joystick. So they're kind of easy to break, but not really. Fuck off, dude. Fucking believable. All because I missed that question block. Unfucking believable. Man. Now I have to haul ass in this world. I better get all movements of one to make up for that mistake. Because if I don't. How did I not get it? That's insane. Do 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 do. Dude, it's because I changed six one. I don't know why I changed it. I'm going back to the way I did it before, but it wasn't the change is the question block, which I would normally jump on anyway. So I'm fine the way it is. I have to I have to learn to accept that that is a valid mistake. That's a normal mistake. I mean, I gotta make mistakes somewhere. I can't play perfectly forever. No, it's a casual mistake. There's nothing... It doesn't need to be explained. There's no reason behind it. I don't need to fix anything. See, that's what you have to do with some mistakes. You have to learn that you're always gonna make mistakes no matter what you do. The best players. Subway 100 bonus 10 Alexa play baby shine. The best players in everything always make mistakes. And the very thing that they're supposed to be professions at. It's you're supposed to do it. It's when you learn to stop questioning it so much and start accepting that it's the way it is. Now, I get mad and freak out because that's my way of venting. That's how I feel good later. That's how I'm able to be positive when I walk away from my streaming station and my video games. And stay in a happy mood. It's because I vented and didn't hold it in. But I you're supposed to make mistakes. It's okay. It's normal. It's natural, it's normal, and it's always gonna happen. So if you ever expect to be perfect, well you're asking too much. That's too much. 
It's impo you're asking the impossible. Subway 100 bonus 10 wheelchair. I hope you are doing good, Mitch. MFP man. You're pretty good, man. Thank you, Hebrew. I really appreciate that. Play Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. No, you don't have to be perfect. I don't know why you would think that. You don't have to be perfect. You, you, I'm not saying you, I'm just saying in general, as people, we have to not put so much pressure on ourselves to perform so perfectly. When you relieve yourself of that pressure, ha ha ha, very funny guys, then you st will start to notice a change in your ability. It's okay to make mistakes, it's normal. You're supposed to. You should be questioning it if you're not making mistakes. Or, if you're always making mistakes. If you're always making a mistake, then, yeah, you gotta start questioning things. Uh-oh, I'm dead. Nope, I can't believe I slipped by it. Wow, that little sneak. I like that so much better, jumping on that guy. Bick my bock, getting bored my bick. Try, yeah. Seven one is such a but yeah my turn back was a little too big on that one before I took damage that's why I took damage I gotta practice seven five later just to get re into it on my first on my first three days being back at the grind seven five was like working beautifully and then. As I get more comfortable, I'm more liable to make mistakes because I'm more relaxed, right? You gotta stay on guard all the time. Never let go. Beautiful. You see, that's what I'm worried about. That's very hard. That tail swipe grab is very hard to do it optimal. That's also really hard to do. Nice. I didn't lag that much there either. That was nice. Beautiful level. This level's on the technical side of levels. This level's definitely on the technical side. Almost. 52 flat entering this level is very good pace. 51 is obviously top tier pace. Which is not that hard to get. You just have to not have all the dumb shit happen in every world. Right? Like what? I'm sure some dumb shit happened to me in some, some of these worlds. World 5 was like all movements of 3. Like that's pretty dumb. I just created a little bit of lag there. That's okay though. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm gonna be fine if I mess this up, but it's worth testing. This run's not perfect. Remember what we were working on before, guys, with the swimming for this section. The, what we were practicing. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try. See if we can work it out again. Okay. Okay, and then I drop. Drop below, and then I stay. 
Nice. Oh, that fish. RNG, man. Look at this. So I just lost like three or four seconds because of that. It's not too risky. I just didn't do it properly. I should change from standing on the question block to being somewhere else is what I should do. It's not too bad. I, so I just lost like four seconds of lag right there. Fantastic. But a part of becoming really good is being willing to test out your new strats when it matters. And that's what's important, is that during an important run like this, I was able to try out something I've been working on. You could just get a fire flower from that level, but then see it messes this up. Watch what I have to do. Too much menuing. Too much menuing. See, I didn't know where my cloud was because I don't anticipate on having to use a cloud. This exact scenario is when I missed the fortress in that run. See, I didn't go back like, I did, like I'm going to here. Too much movements. that that was the time save that clip was the time save too much time lost now that's a waste of seven seven big waste of seven seven massive waste man this keeps fucking happening to me god damn it man that stupid asshole he's never there i don't understand how i'm doing that too fast man that's fucking annoying dude it's so fucking annoying Being such a piece of shit is pissing me off, man. <sighs> you want to know what sucks about this? Is that I haven't practiced this boss while getting both power-ups. So I have no clue what the boss pattern is, and I can't go for the boss pattern. God damn it, dude. Did I just do the wrong warp? I mean, I did the pipe glitch, yeah. I got the pipe clip. What a waste of a World 7 from dumb stuff. Lag from the bloopers and the the dry bones like not be like not spawning early enough. From now on, I'm rub I'm walking on that pipe. I'm not entering that pipe right away. Dude, I lost like 4 seconds from the bloopers. But it's gonna... My, watch how fucked up my time loss is gonna be here. It's gonna be really messed up. It's gonna be like 15 seconds. Because I can't, I can't go for the fire kill here. I have no idea what pattern I'm getting. So here's the thing with fire kills in this game. Here's the thing. If you go for a fire kill that you know how to... Like, if you know how to kill one of the bosses with one of his patterns, and you get a pattern that you don't know, and you try and fire kill him, it won't work. 
It'll never work. I should use this run as the guinea pig run as an example to show you guys what happens. You know for sure he's gonna jump right away? Death gonna work. If it works, then I just pog my life away, obviously. I'll trust Giga and see if he jumps right away. Well, he didn't jump right away. And I saw that he didn't jump, so I didn't do anything. Oh, and look, I took damage again. Did I get the split? God damn it. What a shitty run. What a waste, man. What a waste of clips. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, he didn't jump right away, so I went for the fire kill. What a waste of a World 7. I'm not, I'm not doing these auto scrollers. <laughs> well, I had to make sure the split. I had to make sure that the, the PC felt my split.